On to Super Rugby and uh, the final four. Uh, the Stormers, sadly, once again, um, never the, what's that saying? Always the bridesmaid, never the bride. <laughs> um, and the Lions actually quite lucky to uh, beat the Sharks in the end. Um, and then the obviously the two New Zealand sides we I'm sure we all suspected would go through the Crusaders and the Hurricanes. What did you make of this weekend's uh, quarterfinals? Well, I mean, justice was really served in the end, uh, which is a little bit of a relief. Um, what's happened is that going through to the semi-finals are the, the four teams who ended up with mm. the, the most log points in ordinary season. So you kind of feel as if there's a, a little bit of a, a sort of, you know, rectifying of the balance, if you like. We know the, the, the system is highly controversial uh, with the different conferences and the way it's structured, mm. uh, with teams finishing way below others and yeah. yet getting home quarterfinals, etc. Uh, so there was certainly some justice in the Brumbies going no further yeah. uh, uh, pretty quickly um, in, in the uh, in the quarterfinals. Um, the Stormers, um, look, you know, ultimately on, on a log basis, didn't really deserve to have the, the home uh, quarterfinal, mm -hmm. although it effectively ended up being their third home quarterfinal in a row. Um, and when you consider that they got absolutely smashed by the Brumbies two years ago and the very same Chiefs by a much uh, wider yeah, margin 16, last 21. year, uh, I suppose you can say some progress has been made. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are saying that. I'm, I'm not so convinced myself. I think mm -hmm. that um, the, uh, you well, know, have they played the Chiefs in Hamilton, no. Well, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, th this, this really was a golden opportunity, you yeah. know, considering they'd beaten them once before at Newlands this mm -hmm. season. But w we ended up seeing a completely different game, um, a much poorer game, sadly. Mm -hmm. uh, I guess sort of knockout pressure came in a little bit. The, the burden of the Stormers knowing that they've got this, this sort of albatross around their neck mm -hmm. of, of failing in knockout games in Super Rugby um, was there to, it, it, it prevented them from playing their best rugby, I thought. Uh, lots of mistakes, lots of really elementary ones that would have given... Robbie Fleck, uh, you know, even more grey hairs than he's got already. Uh, the poor fella, you know, had to sit through all that. Uh, I thought he already seemed quite downbeat at half time, interestingly mm. enough. It was almost as if he was resigned to things are just not quite working out. And mm. to be honest, the Chiefs weren't great either, uh, which also tells you that, the, you know, maybe the, they deserve to go through anyway. Uh, I wouldn't say the Stormers uh, uh, bothered their try line that much. Um, and the Chiefs pretty much closed that game out uh, with their own flaws reasonably easily. So are the Stormers making progress? I don't know. But mm. you obviously mentioned uh, the events in Johannesburg. That was a far more exciting game. The All South African uh, quarterfinal. The Sharks really threw the kitchen sink at, at the Lions and rattled them uh, unbelievably. Mm. Um, it, there would have been no injustice if the Sharks had actually won that game. Uh, they got the uh, poor rub of the green, I thought, from a few of the refereeing decisions. Mm. Certainly, I think Robert Dupree, who kept he was he was very terse yeah. um, and and very grumpy, uh, mm. careful not to really uh, dis uh, um, uh, the referee Marius van der Westhuizen. Um, and yet, you know, definitely uh, irked by, by some of the decisions. Mm -hmm. um, the Stefan Levis uh, yellow card, I thought, came a little bit out of the blue. The player himself shrugged and thought, you know, what have I done? Um, and it wasn't as though they were, they were on a sort of, um, it did, didn't seem apparent that they were on the sort of warning for repeat infringements at the time. So it, that came a little bit out of the blue and the Sharks were pretty enraged by that mm -hmm. and that threw them, you know, uh, back a little bit. Um, that said, though, uh, it's good for the South African cause that the Lions have gone on. Um, they've now got a home semi-final, obviously, against the Hurricanes, Hurricanes. and that uh, enticement of the onward ticket to the final, mm -hmm. also in, in Johannesburg, if they can get over the Hurricanes. Yeah. It'll be a tremendous clash. I think um, uh, a difficult one to know at this stage where to put your money. I'd like to look at the starting lineups perhaps first. Mm -hmm. uh, big concern for the Lions, Elton Yankees having such an off day. Uh, it was almost as if you know he'd, he'd undone all the good work of, of earlier in the season where he looked so much more confident and mature as a Springbok yeah. player and all of a sudden went back to, to one of those really ropey displays. Let's hope it was just a, a once-off and that he actually gets it together again uh, for the semi-final. I still think he's a key element of their strategy. It is possible he'll bounce back and have a really good game. Uh, it's, it's, it's quite feasible. Um, but a few issues for the Lions. Their loose forwards, I thought, were a little bit... Um, uh, played second fiddle to a tremendous Sharks loose trio. The two Dupree twins, mm. I thought, were magnificent. Combined with Philip mm. van der Waalt, uh, they, they really um, uh, made a major statement. Um, and the Lions clearly missing Warren Whiteley's uh, gelling presence as, as skipper. I don't think Ruan Ackerman is that well geared to, to number eight. They may have to rethink possibly moving him back to the blind side flank or something just mm. to sort of counterbalance things a little bit. Um, so, uh, you know, thinking caps on for the Lions this week. But... They're still in it, and, and uh, I think maybe having a bad game wasn't such a bad thing. Uh, mm. Maybe they now will... I mean, you wrote as much in your... Absolutely. Column. I think complacency might have been sort of, uh, you know, um, torn right out of them now, and that they will realize that they've actually got to produce um, a considerably better yeah. showing if they're going to knock over the, the Hurricanes.